The most charismatic and arguably the best character in Ronald D. Moore's Battlestar Galactica series is Admiral William Adama. Tasked with defending the civilian fleet carrying the refugees of the Twelve Colonies, Adama's strength of character, level-headedness, integrity, and compassion would prove critical in their fight for survival as they traveled the stars in search of a new home. In this video, I'd like to talk about a few of the defining moments in the history of William Adama and the legacy he left behind as a truly courageous and inspirational leader. Born and raised on Caprica, Adama was just a child at the outset of the First Cylon War. This lengthy conflict ultimately bled into and altered the personal lives of most civilians in the Twelve Colonies. It undoubtedly shaped and molded the man that Bill would grow up to become. He quickly understood and accepted the kill or be killed reality of the war and felt a strong sense of personal responsibility when it came to making a personal contribution towards mankind's fight for survival. Because of this, by the time he came of age, he voluntarily joined the training academy for the colonial fleet. During his time in the academy, he was trained as a Viper pilot, excelling at the top of his class as he proved himself to be a naturally gifted aviator. Some 10 years into the war, he graduated from the academy and shortly thereafter was assigned to the newest Battlestar in the colonial fleet, the Galactica, where he gained the call sign Husker. From his first mission, Adama was exposed to the brutality of the war and the cold reality of wartime propaganda pushed by the government to ensure the support of the masses. After this mission, he was promoted to the rank of lieutenant and assigned his own Viper. Adama would continue to fly combat missions and participated in a number of battles over the next couple of years. On the final day of the First Cylon War, he participated in Operation Raptor Talon, which took place over a Cylon planet believed to be the site of advanced weapons research. After he was shot down in the planet's atmosphere, he discovered a laboratory where human civilians were being experimented on. Shortly thereafter, an armistice between the two sides occurred, bringing an unexpected and abrupt end to the war. Adama was then discharged from military service and married his first wife, Carol Ann, with whom he had two sons, Zack and Lee. He found work on a commercial freighter on the Caprica Toran run where he met Saul Tai, another former Viper pilot. Adama and Tai would go on to form a close and enduring friendship before their divorce, Bill would use his wife's family's connections in the Defense Council to be reinstated as a captain in the Colonial Fleet. After rising to the rank of Major, he secured Ty's reinstatement as well. Adama served on the Battlestars Atlantia and Columbia before earning his own command post on the Battlestar Valkyrie, where his old friend Saul Ty served as his XO. Adama was ordered by colonial leadership to take part in a Black Ops mission in which the Valkyrie would launch the Stealth Star reconnaissance craft across the Armistice Line. This vessel was piloted by Daniel Novacek, call sign Bulldog. After the Stealth Star was discovered by the Cylons, Adama ordered the vessel to be destroyed in order to prevent its capture. This failed mission facilitated Adama's transfer to the then nearly 50-year-old Galactica. This move was intended to serve as a graceful retirement to end Adama's long and accomplished military career. Following in their father's footsteps, both of William's sons would enlist and become Viper pilots. Like his father, Lee was a gifted aviator. However, his brother, Zack, was far less capable. Tragedy struck when Zack's Viper crashed during an operational flight, killing him. Lee ultimately blamed his father for Zack's death faulting him for pushing his son into military service. Because of its age, the Galactica was ordered into retirement where it would be refurbished as a war museum. On the morning following the ship's decommissioning ceremony, the Cylons launched a surprise attack, resulting in the fall of the Twelve Colonies. With Adama's experience in the First Cylon War, he maintained a healthy distrust of automation and advanced computer systems. As such, he ordered Galactica's computer systems not to be networked as many of the colonial vessels had been. This served to spare the Galactica from Cylon hacking attempts that had disabled and destroyed the rest of the colonial fleet. Commander Adama then moved to avenge the deaths of the countless lives lost in the attack, 
and called for all remaining colonial ships to regroup at an unmanned munitions depot. However, instead of finding additional colonial warships, the Galactica encountered a fleet of civilian vessels carrying approximately 50,000 survivors, including the former Secretary of Education and newly appointed President of the Colonies, Laura Roslin. As a military man, Adama fostered a strong desire to fight the Cylons head-on. However, after some deliberation, he wisely placed the survival of the human race ahead of his pursuit of vengeance. The commander then ordered the fleet to jump into uncharted deep space in search of a new home in a quest to find the fabled lost 13th colony of humans, Earth. Adama would go on to discover the true cause of his son Zack's death and that he would have failed basic flight training had his instructor and fiancé Kara Thrace not passed him. While this revelation was a hard pill to swallow, he ultimately forgave Kara which served to strengthen their father-daughter-like bond. During this time, the commander also repaired the strained relationship with his surviving son, Lee. Adama had a brush with death when he was shot by the Cylon sleeper agent, the Raptor pilot, Boomer. While normally a stoic and reserved man, this assassination attempt proved to alter the commander, as from then on, he demonstrated a tendency to give in to his emotions. Eventually, the fleet would encounter the only other Battlestar known to have survived the fall of the Twelve Colonies, the Pegasus, under the command of Admiral Helena Kane. As Admiral, Kane outranked Adama and subsequently assumed control of military operations within the colonial fleet. Adama immediately came into conflict with Kane over her brutal command style. This resulted in each party plotting for the assassination of the other However, neither plan was ultimately carried out. After Kane was killed by the escaped Cylon prisoner, Gina, Adama was promoted by President Roslin to the rank of Admiral. The relationship between Adama and Roslin continued to blossom as he encouraged her in her fight against cancer and as she supported him in his command of the fleet. After the discovery of the planet New Caprica, Adama initially resisted the idea of establishing a permanent settlement there but eventually he allowed military personnel to muster out and settle on the planet. However, after the Cylons discovered their new location, Adama was forced to jump away, along with all the ships still in orbit. With minimal crew, the Admiral then formulated a daring rescue plan to liberate the humans that were left behind on New Caprica. While successful, this mission unfortunately resulted in the destruction of the Pegasus. Following his return to the fleet, Saul Tai remained bitter and resentful and demonstrated a lack of respect for anyone not involved in resisting the Cylon occupation on New Caprica. Adama was then forced to confront Tai and accused him of lowering morale and contributing to unrest among the fleet. Saul then remained confined in his quarters where he continued to drink heavily. A short time later, the Galactica encountered Bulldog the former pilot of the Stealth Star recon vessel. After learning the truth of the reason for his capture by the Cylons, Bulldog attacked the Admiral, who was then saved by Colonel Tai, an act which helped to mend their frayed relationship. This triggered the Admiral's feelings of guilt over the incident and suspicions that the Black Ops mission may have provoked the Cylon attack on the colonies. This guilt led the Admiral to tender his resignation, which was refused by President Roslin. In an attempt to improve fleet morale, against his wishes, Adama was given a Medal of Distinction by the President in recognition of his 45 years of devoted service and in ensuring the survival of the colonial fleet. After the discovery of the Temple of Five, which was believed to hold an artifact called the Eye of Jupiter, marking the way to Earth, the fleet was confronted by four Cylon base stars, leading to a standoff between the two sides. After a star in the local system showed signs of going supernova, Adama ordered a rescue mission for those on the planet, after which Galactica was able to narrowly escape. After these events, the Cylons hidden among the colonial fleet known as the Final Five began realizing their true identities. After Colonel Tai revealed his true nature as a Cylon to Adama, the Admiral ordered his old friend to be arrested. Struggling to come to grips with this reality, Adama tore apart his office as he gave into intense feelings of rage and despair. 
After discovering that the fabled Earth had become a nuclear wasteland, the morale of the fleet hit an all-time low. Wanting to die, Bill drunkenly and angrily confronted Saul, attempting to go the Cylon into killing him. Ty refused to do so, and after reminiscing, he reminded the Admiral of his duty to the ship and the fleet. Shortly thereafter, Adama returned to the CIC and restated to the crew his resolve to find them a new home. As the Admiral solidified the fleet's alliance with a faction of rebel Cylons, a mutiny began to form, spearheaded by Lieutenant Felix Gaeta and former Vice President Tom Zarek. Adama was then tried in a rigged court-martial where he was found guilty and sentenced to death by firing squad. Before his execution, however, he was rescued by Saul Tai, his son Lee, and a handful of others. Adama was successful in convincing most of the crew to follow him as he retook the CIC of the Galactica. The Admiral then oversaw the execution of the mutineers. After many years in service, in combat, and on the run from the Cylons, the Galactica's deteriorating condition began to reach critical levels. Chief of Engineering Galen Tyrrell then proposed the use of Cylon technology to make repairs, which Adama initially refused, but reluctantly he eventually allowed. The Admiral then had an emotional breakdown upon learning that the repairs would only buy the old warship a little more time. Roslyn then insightfully pointed out to Adama that he was having trouble with the fact that he might lose the two women that he loved, both herself and the Galactica. After helping him to accept the fate of the old, worn-out vessel, Laura was successful in convincing him to abandon ship. In one final mission, Adama chose to commit the Galactica to a rescue operation with a volunteer skeleton crew aiming to retrieve the Cylon-human hybrid girl, Hera Agathon, from the Cylon colony. After jumping to the colony, the Galactica launched its Vipers and Raptors before crashing into the Cylon superstructure to provide a point of entry for assault teams. After a brief ceasefire, the colony was hit with a volley of nuclear-tipped missiles, resulting in their fall toward a nearby black hole. Adama then ordered Kara Thrace to perform a blind jump, which Galactica successfully executed. This final jump brought the broken Galactica within sublight range of a habitable planet, which would eventually be known as Earth. After surveying the primitive humans of the planet, Adama deployed a colonization plan proposed by his son, in which the inhabitants of the fleet would abandon most of their technology and settle in various locations around the world. The Galactica, along with the empty remains of the fleet, was then piloted directly into the system star by the Cylon Samuel Anders. William Adama was the last person to leave the Galactica before its destruction, launching in a Viper Mark II bearing his call sign, Husker. After saying his goodbyes to his son and Kara Thrace, Bill took his love, Laura, on a raptor flight, searching for a spot to settle and start their new life. As they made the trip, Laura passed away, and shortly thereafter, he placed his wedding ring on her finger. In his final scene, Bill is depicted sitting by Laura's grave, talking to her about his progress in building their new cabin. Ultimately, the legacy left by William Adama was that of a highly capable, compassionate, and pragmatic leader. He proved most courageous when faced with seemingly impossible situations. His ability to manage his emotions and remain calm when others would panic proved critical to the survival of the fleet on several occasions. Adama took pride in his own integrity and placed a high level of importance on loyalty, both within himself and in others. He consistently was able to maintain a balance between following procedure while thinking outside the box. He strove to understand and even love those who depended on him and allowed that understanding to guide and dictate his actions. While far from perfect, he demonstrated all the traits that are required in a good leader, and these traits are what makes him one of the best and most memorable characters from Ronald D. Moore's reimagined Battlestar Galactica series. But I'm curious to know what you think of William Adama. Is there a particular personality trait or moment from this character that stands out as your favorite? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more Battlestar Galactica and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.